Now let's talk about the financial statements. Remember, financial statements is the product that we provide for external users. So it's the means by which we communicate with the external user. There are four financial statements and this is the order in which they're prepared. The first statement is called the income statement. The second one is called the statement of retained earnings. The third statement is called the balance sheet. And the fourth statement is called the statement of cash flows. Remember that these four financial statements are prepared in the order that they're listed here. Now let's go through each statement one at a time. The first statement we're going to go through is the income statement. Income statement is a statement that lists revenues and expenses. So you do need to remember this. You need to remember the format and you need to remember what each statement has. So again, income statement is the financial statement that contains revenues and expenses. The income statement calculates profits. This is the statement that tells whether a company has made a profit or a loss. Now, we're not going to talk about profit because in accounting, the term we use for profit is net income. So going forward, whenever you hear the term net income, that means that's profit. If it's a net loss, that would be a loss. So the terminology I want you to use from now on would be net income. The income statement is prepared for a period of time. It tells a story over a period of time. Typically the period of time could be a month, a quarter, or a year. Next I'm going to show you how to prepare an income statement. To prepare an income statement we're going to use the same question that we used to do our transaction analysis. So I'm going to go back to that question and use that same information in that transaction analysis question to come up with our income statement. If you remember, the question we did for transaction analysis was expressions haircutting salon. What I have done is I've taken the totals at the end after all the transactions are recorded and put them in a summary here. So this is a summary of all the transactions and their totals after we had completed that transaction analysis question. We're going to use these numbers to prepare our financial statements. If you would like to write them down on a piece of paper, it will probably help as I go through the financial statements. The first statement we're going to prepare is the income statement. All the financial statements have header information that you're required to put down. So for the income statement and all the other financial statements, the order that the header appears is first it's the name of the company. So the name of the company is expressions. Next we put down the name of the statement we're preparing. We're going to be working with the income statement, so I'm going to have income statement here. The third piece of information you need is what time period, what is the period of time that you're preparing the statement for. So in this case it was one month, it was for the month of August, so we're going to say it is for the month ended August 31st. Remember, it's for a period, this is a period statement, so if it's a year, you're not going to say for the month ended, you're going to say for the year ended. Or if it's a quarter, you're going to say for the quarter ended, and then put the date down. Now, again, the income statement only has revenues and expenses, so we're going to first start off listing our revenues. Going back to our data set, how much is revenues? When you go down the list of information, you see, oh, revenues are $1,000. $855. So you're going to put that as your revenues. We're going to call it haircutting service revenue and the amount of that revenue is $1,855. We didn't have any other revenues so now we're going to go ahead and list our expenses. For expenses if you go back we had rent for $500 and wages for 125. So we're going to go ahead and list those here. So we're going to indent it a little and put them together, rent expense of 500, wages expense of 125, and then we're going to extend it and say our total expenses are $625. Now that we've listed out all our revenues and expenses, we can go ahead and calculate net income. 
net income is calculated by subtracting our total expenses from our revenues. And since we're going to uh, subtract our total expenses, I'm going to put the expenses in parentheses so you remember that it is subtracted. And then once we calculate it, we get our net income to be equal to $1,230. So during the month of August, Expressions Haircutting Salon had net income or profits of 1230 Remember, we're not going to call it profits. We're going to call it net income. Keep that number in mind because we are going to use it again in our next financial statement.